been a minute. I know, I hope you've missed me as much as I've missed you. And it's so good to see you here. So, so much has been going on and so much has happened since I made the last video. So one of the things you'll notice is that my walls are no longer blue, right? Because that was my previous house. So I changed houses and in fact, I actually relocated. So it's really great. I would like to hear any guesses just to imagine where it is that I relocated to. I'll give you a couple of guesses. So it's still within Kenya, not in Nairobi. It's a small town, but it's got two malls with two of the major supermarkets so I can get anything that I want from, that I used to have from Nairobi. It's really cold, so especially in the evenings, it's like freezing. So yeah, it's lower temperatures significantly, but during the day, it's nice and warm. Can you guess where this is? Put that in the comments. I'm really curious to see if you can guess where it is. I made a video a while back where I actually talked about it being one of my favorite towns. <laughs> I know, yeah. So let me know in the comments below where you think I actually relocated to. But I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. And I must say that digital marketing and being a digital nomad, which is what I am, I'm the kind of person who can operate from any country, from any place, as long as I have my laptop and an internet connection. So the internet and digital marketing has really given business owners the ability to operate anywhere especially when you know even after covid hit you're still able to get customers for your business get people to know that you exist and another thing is that it also enables you to to be more if efficient in how you get customers so it's not just about you know cold calling or knocking on doors or going to visit people it's very that was very inefficient right now you can do things like you can hold webinars where you sell to many you can have zoom meetings so that you don't waste time driving between one meeting to make a proposal and another meeting looking for parking being inefficient because once you have like two meetings in a day that are in different parts of the town you can't do anything else so that means it wastes your day and you're not able to reach as many customers as you'd ordinarily be able to reach if you're doing a zoom meeting because zoom meetings are like quick like it if we're having a meeting at nine it starts at nine it's not that you get there at nine and then they're preparing the room they have to call from the reception to find out whether the person is there and then you have to wait a few minutes and then you're sitting there looking at these ugly magazines in the reception area and reading the newspaper you know so it makes it much more efficient where the meeting starts at nine and it starts at nine and you cover the main things that you need to cover. There's no, you're in the meeting and somebody's on their phone. This is efficient because, you know, like if, um, if you're having the meeting and, and maybe there are people who are doing it inefficiently, but for me, I found that it's extremely efficient. And I used to recommend it to my clients even before. I used to tell them, you know, can, why don't we have Zoom meetings instead of having physical meetings and I would propose this and sometimes I realized that people didn't even know how Zoom works but today everybody knows how Zoom works I mean from your mother to your grandmother they've heard of Zoom they've probably attended a meeting and it would have been really hard to convince them in the past to use it but now with churches on Zoom and everything everybody is pretty much online so you're able to get uh, more people to know that you exist and it's a more efficient way for you to do it and if you can do it well then it means that you don't even need to be stationed in one place you can have your products in a place create a process where customers find you online they make the purchase you have that delivered and for delivery you can set it up where you have arrangements with companies that can do the delivery for you and you can do that while you're on holiday. You can do that while working in any part of the world or any part of the country. So I think the internet, like whoever came up with the internet, like I thank them every day. And I, I think it's also a really great tool for you to use as well in your business. You don't have to be stuck like a tree in one place. 
you can go anywhere you can go live in a place like you can go um one of the things i love to do is actually traveling and during covid i've not been able to travel out of the country as much as i would have liked to actually not even as much as at all the last place i went to was russia and then when i came back um it was in january then covid happened like in march so i haven't been able to travel since but while i'm during my travels one of the things that i get propositioned a lot is people tell me oh you have such a nice personality you could come and actually work at our air our little hostel or at our um, bed and breakfast and even restaurants like people telling me you know if you ever needed to come and work in in this country like just come for three months and work here and you'll be earning your room and board and food and at the same time i'll be meeting new people having different experiences exploring a completely new country so just i'm just throwing this out there to give you ideas of the possibilities of things that you can do because when you expose yourself to different cultures, different people, different countries, you become a very different person. Different in a good way. You become more tolerant of, of people and the differences because we get very salty or very irritable by people who are not like us and we don't even realize it. But when you travel and you expose yourself to a lot of different people, you have the opportunity to to learn like people are different by default and you start to become more tolerant or more understanding actually is a better word of different people different cultures different ways of doing things and you learn so much let me tell you if if there's <laughs> like a school of hard knocks i mean university of life it's it's just traveling and learning from other people and seeing how things are being done out there differently and it gives you ideas as well in your business because while you're seeing what everybody else is doing or what other people are doing out there, you're getting ideas as well for your business and how you can do things better and differently. So I totally encourage people to not be in that box where you're like stuck. You have the ability to be out of that place, like to live anywhere, but you don't take it like I did for all the years, it never occurred to me that I can leave Nairobi and go set up roots somewhere, somewhere else, somewhere that's more peaceful and that's enjoyable and that I'll have a completely different experience. And that's exactly what has been happening. Like the last month has been so good. I wake up every day and I'm just like, yes, like it's so good to wake up in this town. It's just such a peaceful amazing place with organic food like most of the food i now eat by default is like organic food i wake up to the sound of birds and as another hint this place has one of the largest bird species in the world <laughs> so yeah i've given enough hints as to where i am but you wake up to the sound of birds there are lots of birds around they it's it's very quiet this fresh air like your nose will start acting up because there's such crisp air uh, and you're getting such you know such um, like good oxygen clean air and it doesn't mean that you still can't be productive it doesn't mean that your business has to grind to a halt just because you're not in the town that you are used to so I'm just sharing this with you just I even know why I started to share this because yeah i just i care about you and i really appreciate you being here and you you following my channel if you're new my name is jackie mwangi and i'm a digital marketing strategist and coach and i run a program that takes entrepreneurs eight weeks into understanding how to use digital marketing to get more customers and to work less so that's the thing that I do. Like I, I want to show you how to be more efficient and effective so that you can work less and spend that time on either bigger projects, spend that time doing the things that you really love to do. So those are the things I'm going to do. I'm going to help you grow your business faster and I'm going to help you free your time. So if you're interested in that, 
I'll put a link below this video and you and I can have a conversation and you can tell me more about your business and what it is, what your goals are and what it is you want to achieve and then I'll be able to tell you whether I can help you in the process. So back to not being a tree. <laughs> yeah, so it's important to think outside the box and it's important to just like explore. You know, you've got in this lifetime, as long as you're up, and about and your limbs are working and you're in good health and you know there's somebody who doesn't have that ability to to do that maybe their business requires that they're in the same physical location maybe they're bedridden maybe they're in a situation where they can't they're not in great health and they can't um have that flexibility like you can but if you can just start to look at things differently start to think is there a change that I can make that will give me a new, new ideas, that will help me see a new way of doing things, that will challenge me so that I can get out of my comfort zone and do things differently, right? So yeah, so that's, that's, um, that's what I wanted to share with you today. And also because, I mean, this is not just about telling you about being able to move my business or move my, myself and still being able to do business. One of the things that I, I do, because I do train entrepreneurs and I hear a lot of challenges that people have in their businesses right now. And one of the things people, one of the challenges that I see is that people not knowing what to do. So you're trying to do a lot of things. You're trying, it's almost like your you're spray and pray. That's, something that I, I my former boss used to like to say that you put out things you're not sure what will stick or what will work and you just put them out there and see whether one of them will stick so the spray and pray approach is where somebody tries to do flyers do facebook ads do like a campaign maybe even radio ads like you're trying to do different things just to see which one will stick and it's not a very efficient and effective way of doing it because even if one of them works, you don't know which one worked. So you always want to learn something that works from somebody who has done it, not just somebody who, not just theory, theoretics, or watching um, YouTube videos and trying to figure out how to piece together the pieces or reading different blog posts. That's good if you're trying to solve a certain problem, like you're trying to figure out how to get, um, how to open a Google document or share a Google document, like a very specific tactical thing. But if you're looking to get to understand how to grow your business strategically and tactically, then you want to work with somebody who's actually done it for themselves, who's doing it for themselves and who's continuously growing so that they can help you get your business to the next level. And they can even guide you, like when you get to the next level, what's the next step after that? Because there's always a next level. So that's what I do in my programs. If you would love to work with me, I would love to work with you and help you grow your business faster and free your time. So click the link that I'll put below this video and let you and I have a conversation around it and we see whether we can work something out and whether I can actually help you attain that goal because I don't work, work with everybody. Like I'm very picky about the kind of people that I want to work with. I want to work with entrepreneurs who are ambitious, who have big goals, they have a big, a good product. They know they're not selling crap. They know they're not selling a service that people will buy just once and never want to buy again. They are selling a good product, a good service. They're ambitious. They want it to grow, not just to be comfortable, to pay their bills and put food on the table, but to have even the luxuries that they've always wanted and dreamed about. Go on trips, buy new houses, buy new cars, expand their lives and their lifestyles and the lifestyles of their family, take them to better schools. So I work with those kind of entrepreneurs. And I also look at the kind of business that you've you're building, not just one of those get rich quick schemes. You have to be really solving a problem for people, like providing value for society. So if that's you, 
I'll put the link and I really look forward to talking to you and I also look forward to hearing where you think I am right now and I'll confirm this in the next video so you want to subscribe so that you don't miss that and then like this video because I, I want to I want you to see the next one and the algorithm the YouTube algorithms will share with you what you've engaged with so put that comment in the chat in the part below <laughs> and i will see you at the next video and thank you so much i really appreciate you and i appreciate your patronage and your patience and just the comments that i get and the feedback that i get from my channel i'm so grateful for you thank you so much and i look forward to helping your business grow and providing more value to you so that you can grow even as a person not just your business you also want to grow, you also want to get new ideas, have a different way of thinking and live a happier life. So that's what I want for you and I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Ciao!